make a quick video. I have, uh, thank you very much to my very patient buyer who I haven't shipped this to yet. Okay, now real quick. That buzz is not common. TV's off. The buzz is gone. Okay, now. This guitar is the um, number 27 of uh, 2011. The tuning is something that you can only do the way this des guitar was designed to. Um, the, the, your Fourth string should be a C. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you because this is going to give you a visual for you guitar players. My baby. It will be in the box with me when they put me in the ground. Your C chord that you play root in the fifth right here. Those are your four notes. So, those are your four notes. You'll know you got it right when you can add that seventh. But just tuning it to itself, your top note's a C. No higher than a C. Um, you might go D if you want to. Strings are 24 gauge, 20 gauge, 16 gauge, and 12 gauge. That's what these guitars were designed to do. Um, some people string the ones that they make up in all the different ways. This is the way Tio's boogie boxes were meant to be strung up. If you put flat wounds on and want a real bassy sound and put 50s on it, tune it to whatever, uh, you're on your own. open, fourth fret and open, okay, seven, five, four, that way there, the stuff that I teach you, for example, those uh, thoroughgood riffs are going to work, they're not going to work on the tuning that other people I've seen use. Thanks very much for letting me use your guitar. I'm going to put some more lessons up within another day. This will ship on Monday. I'm shipping you a six-pack of um, shot glasses. I don't want to flip you the bird. I'm going to send you a six-pack of shot glasses. And maybe you want to flip me the bird because uh, you're very patient. It took an extra week or so to, to send this. <laughs> on a discord. I'm not only sending you a dozen shot glasses, my friend, I'm going to my special, my special place. I'm sending you a box I was going to keep for myself. And I'm going to put these parts somewhere else. This, my friend, a very one of a kind to me box. It's the first one I've gotten a hold of like this in three years. A little small to make a guitar out of, I think, but um, if you want a deal on a neck and uh, the tailpiece kit and all that that I used to sell with a kit, I may hook you up. So, this a six pack of shot glasses is coming with your guitar free of charge for the rent of it this last weekend and your unbelievable patience.
I would have been mad. Uh, but she, I have two more guitars on mine right now and two more coming out. All four were made from a African wood, an African exotic wood called White Limba. Uh, my camera stinks. Maybe on the video you'll see some of this. The grain came out beautiful. Watch. This is what the grain looks like before. And if you see something you like, any of my YouTube people, um, I'll make it custom and sign it for you before I uh, complete it. I have these four. I'll bring all four over real quick. So we'll just do the rundown. Okay. I'll try to keep in a particular order. Number 31 is a double punch. I made a little veneer and screw, scribed in double there. A little toggle for each one. New jack. New volume. You notice the peg's gone? The pegs are on back order. Um, I'm going to discount the price a few bucks if the peg doesn't come in by the time uh, the auction ends. This is on right now. And these are a pair of good, powerful pickups. So this, uh, this sounds unreal. Remember now, the pickups here are about seven inches apart. The tonal quality will um, be quite incredible. I made three or five of these last year. They all sold at Jensen Music for 220 to $260. So this is the first one of the year. And I got the Gibson Deluxe tuners on the back. The little bit of a green hue to these acorn shaped nuts. Or acorn shaped tuners rather. Wooden veneers, your simple toothpick frets. Now these are coming out a lot better, a lot smoother through here. I'm taking a lot more time with them because it's what you demand of me. And that's fine. I love it. This is a real good looking box. I wish you could see this better. and I'm, I'm sure the pictures are, have come out pretty well. So this is uh, 110031. Number 32 is this beautiful little, um, what is this? Sorry, it's upside down. Oh yeah, the Room 101 Limited, Kohuru 101. Now this is made by La Familia Ciento Uno. So the 101 family, I guess, La Familia. So these are limited edition boxes. I've got three more. Very pretty. I'm waiting for the pickup for it. Now, here's the wood before it's cleared. And I could tell and it might have some character to it when I cleared it. Number 33. Now this one here I've cleared the neck and the grain just just popped out. Like if you took a piece of mahogany for example, people say, oh mahogany is a real dense good hardwood to work with. But it doesn't look real good when you clear it. I differ on that because when you see mahogany and you see those little hairs, those little fibers, and when you clear it, it just all those little details come out. But this is a whole lot prettier than mahogany is for sure. I mean, these little hairline things that were in this, I mean, it really came to life. There's no color in there that I added except for um, the color that I may have put on some of these fret markers. But that's all natural, front and back. That's tight. It's white African limba. Now, I haven't strung them yet, which is the reason why these two are not plugged in. These two are on auction right now. 190 buy it now. 140 buy it now. No volume on this. Straight up hot box. Okay. Um, that's now Turo Fuente Natural. And the double pickup one is called a punch. And these two are not done yet. I'm awaiting some parts here. When they come up, these are also African Limba. I'm going to fret these and get them ready for the entire that's the tailpiece in there. They all have, they're all using a 3 tailpiece. And this is just a blank. The holes haven't been drilled for it yet or anything. So, 
This one I'll probably glue shut. I think both of these the last two I will definitely glue shut because they're nice boxes and they're but they're thin. So I'll probably put a couple of uh, small boards, small uh, thin. A little smaller than this, your basic soundboard bracing uh, in the back here. Not much, I don't want to lose the natural resonation. These are going to be awesome, so that's the Tatuaje and the, the 101 Limited. Let me know if you want those. I sell about a third of what I make before it's done. Or to neighbors or friends. Big B, love you. Thanks for buying uh, the white Arturo Fuente box. But please tune it right. He had it tuned to a chord, and he does what most people do when they're not really too musical and they're just starting. Um, he does the common mistake is to something is out of tune, you just tune it higher and hope to reach the note. If you add severe amount of pressure to this tension inside this interior design block, the only repair really would be to continue to remove the neck, clean any glue out, and uh, drill a hole straight in the back long enough to reach up in there, re-glue it, and actually pin it. And uh, good luck with that. I hope you don't ruin the box doing it. Just don't overtune, please. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> 